Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Rabin, and these are some of the frequently asked questions about the Mona Lisa Touch procedure. First of all, what's the issue? Well, the issue is the tissue. What happens over time as estrogen levels fall, the tissues of the vagina become very atrophic, which means they become dry. They're not growing as they normally do. They lose some of their vasculature, their elasticity, their vitality. And you're left with burning, itching, tightness, discomfort. Uh, a woman shouldn't be thinking about things down there all day long. They shouldn't be uncomfortable. They shouldn't be in your awareness. But sometimes they are. And the reasons why estrogen declines is number one, naturally over time that's going to happen. But for a lot of women who either have premature menopause, hysterectomy, breast cancer treatment, and other problems, they'll have declines of estrogen that may occur at an unnatural time. While estrogen is often an effective treatment, and while there are also some other medications that may help these issues, many women are unable to use these medications. Some women choose not to use these medications. And for some women, all the medications in the world aren't fixing their problem. So what is the Mona Lisa Touch? Mona Lisa Touch is an absolutely revolutionary, nothing like it before treatment that we now have to help women with these problems with vaginal atrophy. What it is, is the same technology that's used to revitalize skin in other parts of the body. Many people are familiar with fractional CO2 laser that's used to rejuvenate and restore health and youth to the facial tissues. Well, this is an intravaginal treatment. It works with a fractional CO2 laser, which is a series of dots that creates a very superficial, controlled light energy into the tissues, which stimulates resting cells to come back to life, to rush in and to start to make new blood vessels, collagen, glycogen, elastin, uh, moisture, uh, hydration. And this is what brings the tissues back to a healthy, youthful, functional status. So this is not some uh, unstudied type of a procedure. This is something that has had great scientific validity. Peer-reviewed journals have published studies on this particular procedure, and thousands of women have had this treatment done already in Europe and Australia, and we have just now become FDA approved with this device here in the U.S. as of October 2014. You can have this done in the doctor's office. We have the equipment here in our Burbank office and it is done in the office in a matter of minutes. The procedure is virtually painless. This requires no numbing creams, no anesthesia, no painkillers. So much of what I'm going to tell you today is almost hard to believe and seeing is believing. This is a remarkable, game-changing, life-changing procedure. And I have women uh, from in the early 50s up until the early 70s having this procedure done. And while the first treatment of the three may be the most uh, uncomfortable, that level of discomfort is almost nothing. Nobody uh, in any of the research studies had to actually discontinue the procedure because of discomfort. Uh, the actual procedure takes minutes. Uh, in my practice, if you're scheduled to have this treatment, you can be in and out of the office without even rushing in less than 30 minutes. Uh, coming in and speaking with us, going over uh, uh, your uh, candidacy for the procedure, whether this is right for you or not, preparing to have it done, doing it, uh, and then giving you some information, instructions, and a follow-up appointment. It's a series of three treatments, six weeks apart. Most women, 70 to 90 percent of women, see results after just the first treatment with continued improvements of treatment over the next two. It lasts a year or more and what is happening with most women is once a year they'll have a single treatment for maintenance. Limitations after the procedure is done, uh, simply no strenuous exercise, no sex for two days, and no hot baths. Um, you'll get a sheet of those very few restrictions and they're lifted after just a few days. This is appropriate for women who are suffering with the symptoms of vaginal atrophy. Some urinary symptoms are tied into this because once you restore the health, 
the proper pH balance of the vagina, you are then able to restore the healthy bacterial environment, uh, what we take probiotics for and try to restore that healthy balance so that you don't have vaginal discharge and infections and itching. But this also creates a barrier, a sort of protection against urinary tract infections and the chronic cystitis that a lot of menopausal women have. So this is appropriate for any woman who is having symptoms related to vaginal atrophy. You can schedule the Mona Lisa Touch treatment by first filling out a symptom questionnaire, letting us check for sure that you're a proper candidate for this. And then on your first visit to the office, if we have all of our ducks in a row, you can have this procedure, your first treatment done, the first time you come in to visit us. Is this procedure safe for women with breast cancer? This is particularly well suited for women with breast cancer. Women who are advised to avoid estrogen, women who are suffering and possibly suffering in silence uh, with a lot of these issues. So short answer, yes, this is particularly suited for women uh, who are breast cancer survivors. Uh, if you're ready to find out if you're a candidate for the Mona Lisa Touch procedure, simply go to our website, gyn1.com, and click on Mona Lisa, and in the contact form, just say, I'm ready, send me the survey. You can fill out this form, fax it, send it back, take a picture of it, and uh, email it to us, and we'll get right back to you and let you know if it looks appropriate for you, and then help you set up the appointment. GYN1.com, you can get your information. There's uh, wonderful videos, a lot more information and resources. You can actually uh, see some stories of women. I'd like to just tell one story before we finish up here. Uh, one of my first patients who received this treatment recently came back for her second treatment. And of course we ask, how's it going? And we, uh, this woman is a 53-year-old breast cancer survivor and she had all of her treatments about five years ago. And what was particularly concerning to her was not only the discomfort uh, day to day uh, of being uncomfortable with the vaginal dryness and the itching and burning, but it has literally been impossible for her to have sexual relations with her husband for over four years. And when she came in and we said, how is it going? She got tears in her eyes and she said, Dr. Rabin, nine days after my first treatment, we decided to give it a try. And she said, not only was sex comfortable and possible, she said it was enjoyable and she was able to move around and get into it and it was such a joy uh, to see the light go on and the health restored down there after just the first treatment. The reason we do all three is because that's the prescription, that's how it's been studied and that's what gives it its long-term benefits. I hope to share more information with you. Please email or use the contact form on the website if you have specific questions. If you'd like to get your symptom survey, and we'll help you get set up for your first of the three treatments. This is Dr. Rabin. Thank you so much for your time.